Well, hello there! My name is Kat and uh, welcome to my video. Today I will be doing the Inktober Day 9 uh, prompt, so let's get started. As I've said the previous couple of days, you can always find my um, my rules for myself I made, like um, in the beginning of Inktober, I said it in the very first video. So uh, let's just get started. Today the theme or the prompt is swing. And like my immediate thought was like a like swing like this with a kid on it. But I'm not very good at drawing things without reference. But uh, let's go. It works out. Yay! Hmm, yeah, this could be cute. Um, should we make like a dress thing? Yeah, let's make a dress. I want to draw something big and frilly and awesome. But barefooted. Like this. Do, 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 do. Let's give her some, uh, you know, the old style frilly, frilly panties. I think I want to draw something with purple line art today, um, just to say I've actually done Inktober instead of just, you know, <laughs> drawing with black and white uh, on the computer. Um, I think the idea was to do a lot of line work. Um, I haven't done a lot of that. I, I think I did it the first and the second day, and that's about it, maybe. Um, See if we can make like a hand here. I just watched a bit of drawing with Waffles uh, video. I didn't finish it because I got a bit inspired to just finish this or like draw this right now. So uh, let's see if we can make something cool by being inspired by her. Yay! Oh, oh that looks horrified. But when you stretch out your legs like this, you're actually going backwards instead of forwards, right? No, forwards. I don't remember. It's a long time since I've used a swing. Look how fucking muscular her underarm here is. Like, she, she's got some serious gains. Um, yeah, let's just... Uh, Start with this. Why not? Let's go. Let's actually start with this because this needs to be somewhat straight. Mm. One of the rules I made for myself is uh, that I can't use uh, my keyboard, so well, I can't use any short shortcuts. So that's why I won't be using the Control C, and I won't use my X key. I'll try not to. It's quite hard to remember. 
I think actually the easiest way to do this is to like make it a bit bigger and do like I did yesterday where I just white it out to make it like a rope texture. I also made the deal with myself that I'm not allowed to use any um, um, any color, but I'm allowed to tone down my my um, what's it called my layers. So yeah. Oops! Ah! I really enjoy having the navigator on, um, it makes it a lot easier to see where you are in the painting process and how coherent the piece is, so... Let's see if we can do this. The problem I have with my um, drawing tablet is it's quite far away from how I sit and draw and it's quite upright. I don't have it as it's probably supposed to like be sitting on the table, but um, yeah, that's the only way I could really have space for it, have enough space. So. Yeah, that sucks. I hope this will read as rope when you see it from far away. Even though it's a bit of a cheatsy way to make it. I think I'm gonna use a lot of layers in this piece, but it uh, because it's a bit more um, uh, ambitious than the previous few uh, pieces. So I think I'm going to just make this part here immediately. Have like a wooden board. It's going to be um, sort of vintage-y, I hope. Um, but the dress is not going to be very... Um, like, I, as I said, I have no reference photos or anything when I do these Inktober challenges. So it's gonna be a bit like me just guessing what a periodic dress would look like. <laughs> so it's not gonna be very precise. Um, but yeah, that's what you get. It's <laughs> like a little knot coming through on the other side here of the board, the wooden board. Okay, let's make the character. Start off by drawing this part here white. And drawing it white, making it white. Um, two, three, four. Counting with cat. Oh, 
and the fifth finger. I think I'm gonna have to move her over a bit. And I'm not really allowed to do that in this. So I think I'm gonna just quickly move her here. Do -do -do -do. After I gave myself like the time li limitation of uh, having to do it for at least two minutes, but a maximum of like um, I think it was an hour, it has been quite easy to get the Inktober challenge done because no matter what, I uh, I did the required amount for myself. So, little pro tip for you there, if you if you want things done, just uh, give yourself so much leeway um, as possible, because you often end up doing more anyway. Oh, wow, that's so weird looking. Okay, like this. Mm. <laughs> I'm not use, allowed to use Control C. It's, it hurts so much. It's one of the great greatest uh, things to hear when you're drawing, like, oops, or in general. Let's just quickly make this flowy part of the dress. It feels a bit like I'm just making a bigger dress of my like my main character from my um, my web comic, um, and it's probably because that's just what I naturally draw when I draw. It's just my my web comic. Um, I tend to fall back to the same characters. I think most people do if they are not quite, um, not necessarily characters, but like the same subject at, at least. I think you have to be quite conscious of making different things than what you're used to. This is gonna look so weird because the light would go down like this. Yeah, it's it's not probably attached to her body. Um, like 
this. Mm. I'm not very good at keep uh, keeping the entertainment value in <clears throat> in these videos, and it's quite too bad because uh, a part of the challenge for my Inktober was to not edit, and uh, now you know why I usually speed up my my videos and I don't um and I don't have any speaking in my videos um because frankly it sucks when people don't know how to entertain oops um what is this frank in hand Not being able able to control C, some of these things really, really slows that down the process. Um, and it's not surprising that it does. Not at all when I'm used to. I'm I'm quite used to working in, like working digitally, in general. Uh, but yeah, it's it slows down my process a lot. Not being able to use my left hand. Um, let's see. Let's make a new layer for the inner leg. I feel like that foot, yeah, that foot is too long, too weird looking. When the sketch is kind of... Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I just whited out everything. Oh, goodness. Um, no, let's just... Um, let's just wing it. I say and immediately fuck up. One, two, three, four. All the toes. That looks so weird. Three, four. Okay, that's better. Oops. Puffy leggings. I think didn't hmm. Now that I think about it, I think drawing with waffles actually made a piece quite similar to this. She probably did. That's why I subconsciously went for the swing. Oh my god. Yeah. Well. 
being inspired by is probably yeah one of the things that are dangerous with watching YouTube right before um, actually doing any any work or in general but I can uh, pride myself with or disappoint myself with that hers is probably 10 times better than mine but that's okay hers had color oh um come on tablet please work with me I'm just gonna quickly save here because uh, yesterday I uh, the whole program crashed crashed as I was working on it so um, that sucked okay that's not as bad as I thought it would be that's quite good actually let's go. Let's make a face. Let's see if we can make a proper face. That doesn't look fucking horrified. <laughs> oh my goodness. She, she looks mildly unhappy <laughs> uh, she looks like uh, yeah I don't know like she's missing a few pieces Oops. And drooling a little bit. <laughs> I feel like she's gonna end up looking quite a lot like my main character in my comic and I can't help it right now Should I give her dimples? No, don't give her dimples. That looks stupid. I feel like every single drawing prompt I've been doing a different art style. Um, but yeah, let's find out if we can... I keep saying let's find out, uh, as if you actually have a saying in what I'm doing right now. I want to see if I can try and explore as many different themes and art styles in this in this year's October. Because the last couple of years I've been doing like a spooktober 
spooky, spooky things. Um, not that there is anything wrong with that, but you know, I just wanted to try and have fun this year with different, different uh, themes. So that's why it's going very different directions every day. Um, Let's make a separate layer for the hair because I feel like that's gonna be quite hellish to work on. Also because I have a tendency to want to give my characters curls, which is quite, quite funny because I don't have any curls myself. Big flowery arrangement here. She looks quite daft, <laughs> staring off into the distance with like this dead eye, not, not dead eye, but dead, dead stare. My husband is coming home now, so there might be a bit of a, what's it called, um, a bit of noise in the background in a moment. Um, that did not turn out how I wanted it to. If you can hear him... Yeah. You probably can. He's shuffling around a lot. I think I want to remove this part here. And... Yeah, I want to make it a bit more dynamic looking. Um, this part here looks looks weird. This this part here looks weird. Um, I'm just gonna erase this. I don't know where he went actually. I can't hear him. So let's see. <clears throat> Where's a bit of this? Oh my goodness. Let's just quickly. Let's sketch this again. Uh, I can't do that because I. That's right, I made this layer. So let's sketch on this one. And let's <coughs> use a black field, uh, black pen instead. Hmm. Yeah, that's better. Oops. Um. <sighs> I want to use the control C so bad. It's just like a lump of weirdness on top of her head. Let's do like this. Hello. I'm filming. <laughs> I guess. So. Yeah. I don't know. This isn't looking like I wanted it to. But uh, I think that's 
that's what I'm going to do for today. Um, I think I'll make a bit of a, like, make this part here a bit darker. Optimally, I would add some details around her body. Maybe just like this. Using a black to then white out most of it afterwards anyways. Just to add a bit of a, like a faux texture, because it's not a real texture, that's for sure. Um, I think I also want to make this part here darker. Yeah, let's try and see if we can make this... Oops. Make this here look a bit more organic. So it's not just like a lump of... Lump of what the fuck on top of her head. That did not help. It still looks like a lump of what the fuck on top of her head. Um... Like uh, this. Like she has her head here, and like her hair just is an entity of its own. But yeah, that's that's what it's gonna be. Thank you all for watching. And